I love playing with plates. Um, I think they're a great um, source of medium to make interesting things out of and interesting shapes. And what I use, you can use pouring medium to do this, but I like to use uh, gloss medium and varnish as some of the liquid to make your plate more shiny. And the one in the back I have upside down it was one of the earliest plates that I did. And um, as you see, we've done it on the background and glued it on a background so it has a natural frame. And you may choose to do that. We've cut them into shapes and made symmetrical designs. We've cut them into things like flowers and butterflies and shapes like that as well. And more recently, I've been cutting them um, into little shapes for jewelry as well. That So you... you should think about saving and mixing the background of your plate for background and there's no place to actually stop with a plate that if you don't like the way that it turns out the first time this one is, has two pores on it and I like some of what's going on like this this is the one that I cut a piece out of to make the little jewelry square um, Here's one that has a second layer of paint on it that I think there's some really pretty color going on in that one. This is the second one. Um, so you can even press and draw things into your plate like you did with the printmaking and then go on like that with shapes. So there's all kinds of possibilities with it. That This one here, um, the colors are mixing and I drew some uh, texture into the background really mixing quite a lot so if you get too much color um, and that it just all blends in and mixes you can always tap a little bit of it off and then add more color and see what's going on so I'll wait on that that this one I've started it's on you can see it's on a solid mixed color background that um, I've I've got a little bit of the gloss medium varnish in the, in the bottom, maybe add a little bit more. And then I can either spritz water onto it if it's too thick, or uh, alcohol will do interesting things with as well. And here's a little bottle with 50% um, alcohol in it, so I might give it a, a, a squirt. And you'll see as we play, um, with alcohol it does some cool things to your paint so now I'm going to either this one I think I will use acrylic ink you could use acrylic ink you could use hypo and you can even use just the liquid fluid acrylics stop that my dog again <clears throat> I think she thinks she's talking as well since I'm talking yes. alright so this is golden high flow pathala blue and this looks like it's pathalo blue of the acrylic acrylic ink. And I'll pour a little bit of that on. And the uh, varnish is just going to make it run more onto the plate. You can run it into the background. I can turn it, I can tap it to make it try to mix in color. I can shake it back and forth and try to mix it like that. I can get um, less organic and take my brush to it as well. So I'm trying to um, have some of the background show because I have that solid color in and let the blue do some mixing. So since I have the Pathala blue on that, uh, I can come in with white, I could come in with gold, I can come in with a little bit of turquoise. So uh, this is fluid acrylic turquoise here that I've added just a little bit to it. And mix it some more. Try to get the colors to run a little bit more and have something kind of pretty happening with the flow of the paint. This and this is just up to you on what you decide to do um, 
with color and paint and how much you're willing to to play and you can play once your paints dry that's why I recommended that you keep your plates and sign your name to the back and let, leave them to dry at the end of the period so you could go back and do things with it that's really got some really pretty things where the blue is running into acrylic this is Naples yellow um, let's add a little bit of Naples yellow in here and it's a little bit thicker than the paint that's on there so um, I'm going to take my paintbrush and kind of water it out a little bit since I have water in the brush and move that around a little bit with, with my brush and I could let that be it's probably not going to look like it looks right now that it's going to keep moving but I keep playing and let it dry and hope that um, it turns out the way that I want it to so I'll put this one aside alright so let's talk about taking these and cutting them into shapes um, I usually put them aside like this until I decide what I might want to use for a shape and I would suggest that you use make some kind of template if you're making everything the same shape so something like an old card or something like that can make them all exactly the same size or if you have um, small cups or um, if you've got a template pattern then you can make a whole bunch of the same shape to use as well as that and then take a similar color or a darker color and come and paint the edges on the outside once you cut them up all right so the sky is really the limit in this you start by making your plate and then as you've made your plate in this just like when you start cutting out cardboard and other things we uh, are going to cut shapes out of hopefully some of your plates will be dry and then you can cut them into shapes have fun